more thing to note on day three. We had been charging for a solid day or two at the hotel for free, and we had 315 miles of range on the clock, if you will. Um, so it seems like the most this car can charge up to is 315 miles of range. All right, so we're in the car listening to some James Taylor. The birds really like it. So we had an unfortunate change of plans. We're a little sad. Um, it turns out that the people we were gonna stay with in Texas when we were gonna go to Cattle Ranch uh, kind of lost track of the days and realized that they had a business trip that basically overlapped with when we were going. Uh, what we're doing is we're gonna do, um, let's see, Memphis tonight via Atlanta and Birmingham. So we're going to see our friends for lunch in just an hour and a half. We're gonna go to Birmingham for some barbecue, which will be so good. And then off to Memphis. Tomorrow we'll see friends of ours for brunch. And then we're gonna go to Oklahoma City, Albuquerque, uh, Flagstaff, but we're gonna stop at Mesa Verde on the way. And then we're gonna go to San Diego from Flagstaff. Average about eight hours of driving a day. That doesn't include our time that we will spend at the site. All right, we're in Augusta, Georgia. So we've been driving for about three hours now um, from Charleston to Augusta, Georgia, and we've gone about 170 miles, a little more maybe. The car said we could go 315 miles, but that changed a bit. Uh, I think it's optimistic in the beginning there. Bird check, bird check. How are the birds? This door handle's a little hard for birds to open. All right. Here are our feathered friends. I better put it in dog mode. Hi guys. There you go. There, you're in focus. Hey buddies. What's up? You don't like the camera? Let's get Caroline in the picture. There she is. They don't normally run away from me like this. Wanna sing a song? No? Okay, well. Okay, it's 10.57. We got up to 296 miles. So, 179 miles in a short amount of time. We're gonna stop charging. And then Mark is gonna take out the... <laughs> the charging cable. Yeah, that um, thing. So the only drawback to this whole system is that when you stop, you kinda of have to stop where the chargers are. So you might not get the best lunch in the world. We had Starbucks for a little break, which was nice. Um, but other than that, it seems to be pretty much like a normal road trip, so. All right, we're in Atlanta. Short video, because we're a little bit late for lunch with friends. Traffic in Lithonia. bye. So we just left the Atlanta supercharger and um, we got some notes, notices on our phone we didn't see before that said it's a high traffic area so it only charges the car to 80% so you move and give other people a chance. Um, it says if you need 100% you can just reset the limit to 100 but you have to know and do that. And then it says something about idle fees which it didn't charge us but um, it said it could charge us. It's a bit ambiguous so we'll have to read up more and be more aware in the future. We're done charging here in Oxford, Alabama. So as you can see, not a lot of the spots are taken up, but we had a learning lesson in Atlanta. So we were in Atlanta where it has one supercharger in Atlantic Station with a lot of great restaurants. And I think a lot of people take advantage of charging and then also going to the restaurants. And we had a great lunch with two of our friends from Japan and their daughter who's new to us, but is about 10 months old. So what happened was, was that we decided to charge. We were set for 310 miles, which is the full capacity of the battery, which you can charge for trips. About 280 or 80% is recommended for uh, just normal everyday use. So we went away and we were gone for an hour and a half and the supercharging should have taken about an hour and 10. And we get back and we were told, oh, you might have gotten an idle fee and the whole lots was taken, all the spots were taken by uh, Tesla's. When we got there, it was about half full. And what happens is we learned a little bit today about supercharging. So I got an email that says you received a supercharger idle fee, but fortunately on the first time 
they waive it and we will not be billed, but we would have been pretty stuck. So we had 27 minutes idle at 50 cents and 10 minutes idle at one hour, uh, $1 a minute. I'm not sure why it changed. I don't know if it got completely full or not. And then it has some idle fee explanation on how you get it. And apparently it charges once the supercharger lot is utilized 50% uh, or more of the spot. So um, I wasn't paying attention to my phone during lunch because we were hanging out with our friends. And so uh, we did get several notifications though, but the phone was in my bag. And so one thing is that when it is a full, like more than 60% of the spots are being used, they'll um, throttle you back to 80% of your battery even if you set the trip limit. And you can change that in your app, but we didn't realize that because again, we weren't looking for messages. So could have been a big idle fee. Certainly didn't want to be a jerk and take up the spot, which happened because of the throttling back. So next time we know. So here we are at the Birmingham Supercharger Station. We have one of these entertainment units. The uh, Tesla Supercharger stops are definitely getting a lot better as we head west. We also have a Saw's picnic. Saw's Barbecue. A Saw's Barbecue. The most exemplary barbecue dish in the world is pork and greens. Pork and greens. And we got two because we're not sharing. We had cheesy grits. We got cheesy grits. It comes with the pork and greens. Oh yeah, that's right. And It'll fries. Fried onion strings. Oh, it'll be so good. All right, we'll show it to you in a bit. Okay, here's an unboxing video for. Mm. Our, oh, yeah, that's trash in the car. Okay, here's. Saw's barbecue. Pork and greens. Uh, pork delicious. and greens. Sorry. Holy cow. So there's the cheesy grits, the shoestring onion rings, pulled pork, and there's some greens somewhere in there. Yeah, not a lot. The healthy part. Yeah. How's the barbecue, Mark? This is the best barbecue in the world. I I'm not totally kidding. Agree. It really is. We didn't actually have to stop at this supercharger for the car, but we know about this barbecue. So after being yelled at by the police officer, which I didn't realize was a police officer, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the gun, the badge, the uniform, you know. He was wearing a bicycle helmet on his head with no bicycle in sight that I saw. So I, I was confused. But he let us out of the parking lot, which is great. And we said, thank you, sir, because we're in the South and we're not stupid. <laughs> 